Hey everyone, my name is Tom Tullis. I'm the owner of Fat Dragon Games, and this video is going to show you how we painted all of the terrain pieces in our new Dragon Lock Kickstarter, uh, the video and all the promotional photos. Everything that we used you can get at craft stores like Joanne Fabrics, Hobby Lobby, uh, a lot of it you can get at Walmart in the craft section. To start with, we primered all of the wall pieces with Krylon Max. Um, it's a matte primer. They make a very nice dark gray color for it, and it worked great to base coat everything. Uh, it acted as a base color for the brick or for the stonework. Um, very durable. It does not chip off the PLA. Uh, I really cannot recommend it strongly enough. Next up, we have Liquitex Medium Gray Number no. Five. You can use any medium gray. Uh, craft acrylic you want. I just went with the Liquitex. Uh, it does bond with the Krylon really well, so for your base coat, you might want to try to pick it up, but again, any gray craft acrylic will work okay. Uh, the Liquitex, it's the consistency of toothpaste, so a single tube, I think I paid about three and a half, four dollars for it, will last a really long time. Next up, for picking out just some of the individual stonework, I went with a very cheap craft acrylic. Uh, I think I got this at Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby. Don't use expensive model paints or miniature paints. It's really not necessary for this type of work. Just get something cheap uh, in the craft section, you'll be fine. Uh, these, I think I paid a buck a piece for the colors. Went just with some various browns and tans and a gray. The highlight color for the stonework, I went with unbleached titanium. It's kind of a cream color, and I cannot recommend this enough. It just ties everything together. It dry brushes great. Uh, again, a single tube of this has gone and covered everything we've done for the video, and we've still got a ton left. Brushes, just some basic ones I had lying around that I do for miniature painting. Again, nothing special, no high-end stuff. To start off with, uh, just mix your colors on a styrofoam plate. It's great. It's disposable. Um, we're going to start off with uh, the medium gray Liquitex. The wall pieces have already been primered with the uh, Krylon dark gray. Um, don't take your time on this. Just scrub it in. Uh, I put just a little water with the Liquitex, and you're just, it's not a dry brush, but you are just scrubbing over it. You don't want to fill in all the crevices. Let the dark Krylon uh, show through uh, anywhere you have space between the stones, any of the cracks and stuff, and it acts as your dark base coat. So again, you're just kind of scrubbing this on, hitting the high, lot, high points and the kind of the medium points on the stonework. Uh, there's no right or wrong to that. You just scrub it on. Next up, once that's dry, I'm just putting out some of the different craft acrylics um, using, I think, four different colors here. I accidentally put one of them out twice. Um, the big thing to remember is you don't have to worry about mixing colors and trying to match it between different wall pieces. Leave about half of your stonework the Liquitex medium gray color. By doing that, you're going to allow all of the different wall pieces, no matter what other colors you use on them, if about half of the uh, stones are still the Liquitex gray, all of your walls are going to match and tie in together. So don't worry if you mix an odd color and use it on one wall that you're not going to be able to remix it for another. It doesn't matter. Leave about half of the stones, just the medium gray, and you'll be fine. What I've done is I've put the craft colors out. Some of them are kind of stark, especially that mustardy color. I think it would look out of place. So when I paint these, what I do is I, no matter what color I have, whether it be a brown, a gray, a tan, I mix a little bit of the base Liquitex in with it, and that kind of tones it down, and it ties it in with the Liquitex color that you've already applied for your base coat. Um, I'm just taking some of the uh, mustardy color now. I've mixed in some of the gray Liquitex number five and just brushing it in. Each stone can be a little different. Here I'm just taking uh, the light gray, I'm going to put it in. When you brush these in, don't worry about making it really neat. If you get a little bit on an adjacent stone, it's not a problem. When you dry brush the unbleached titanium on, it's going to blend it all together and it's not going to show. Um, it helps to keep rotating the wall when you do this. Uh, drag the brush across the stonework. Um, when we've done these, this is not going to be like other terrain you've ever painted. Uh, traditional either steel molds or even uh, resin cast stuff, 
there's only so deep you can make the spaces between the bricks because of the way the mold has to come apart. Um, the one really cool advantage of printing these on a 3D printer is you have no limitations like that. So we can have really stark overhangs and undercuts that would not be possible with conventional steel molds that have to slide apart. Um, so the detail you're going to see on these things, the, the areas between stones, the undercuts, uh, the handles on the doorways and stuff, you cannot get this with a factory produced part. Um, so again we're back to the deep spaces between the rocks your brush is just going to follow along them you don't even have to do it very carefully the it's just going to naturally follow along it's very easy to paint um, again you're not going to take a ton of time on this just drag the brush across uh, hit the high points and the medium points and you're going to be just fine uh, here i'm just again taking each of the different craft colors i bought i'm mixing in a little of the medium liquitex with it uh, it just it just ties everything in really really nicely uh, here is the kind of the medium tan or medium beige liquitex I'm gonna, actually going to use that straight um, it's up to you there's no right or wrong with any of this uh, if you want to use the color straight out of the bottle that's great too uh, it's once you put the unbleached titanium on later in the final step it will tone a lot of this down um, for me I just prefer mixing in the medium gray Liquitex a little bit and it does uh, it kind of uh, ties the colors in uh, it mutes them a little bit um, for the first piece I used four different uh, craft colors in addition to the Liquitex that was kind of the high-end piece to show you what can be done uh, if you really want to take your time and use multiple colors for the second wall I'm going to show you a little bit different uh, technique and I'm just going to use a single color on it uh, the beige color at the top of the plate there and this is if you're kind of in a rush you don't want to mix a lot of colors all I'm doing is mixing a range of tones with that single Liquitex uh, gray and that beige craft uh, uh, craft essentials and the stonework will range between pure uh, the Craft Essentials beige and then it goes down the tonal spectrum down to the Liquitex gray and each one's gonna be a little different I just kinda have a streak going across the plate that starts with the Liquitex gray and goes up to the pure uh, craft beige and you just drag your bush anywhere through that median or off to either side and each stone will be a little different at the end after you've picked your stonework out um, just dabbing in a little bit of the uh, color we've been using uh, again there's no right or wrong to this if you get too much on the uh, uh, floor stonework just take the gray liquitex and dab it back in and it'll be fine uh, again there's no right or wrong to this stonework can look like anything uh, finally we're gonna do some dry brushing on the pieces uh, this is the liquitex unbleached titanium I've got a really stiff brush for this uh, drag it through the paint, uh, rub it on a paper towel till almost nothing comes off, and then just very lightly uh, just drag it across. Uh, like the great sage Bob Ross said, three hairs and some air. Um, you don't want to build this up too fast, just scrub it across. If you get too much on, you can just rub your finger across it, rub it off. Uh, it comes off really easy at this point before it dries fully. Um, again nothing really artistic no real skill required just scrub it on uh, as you run out of paint on the brush you're gonna scrub a little bit harder like I am here um, when you run out reload your brush do it on the paper towel again get most of it off and just start scrubbing in the uh, the unbleached titanium there's no right or wrong way to do this some people prefer to be very subtle with their dry brushing uh, for me this isn't a miniature this is just a stone wall so I tend to go a little overboard with it I really like uh, to emphasize the unbleached titanium I hit all the corners really hard um, the high points on a lot of the bricks that we have with the overhangs I like getting those to stand out as much as possible with it uh, the unbleached titanium works great if you just use the Liquitex number five on your work if you just use a single color if you're using five colors like we've done uh, no matter what colors you've used before it the unbleached titanium just is phenomenal for stonework and I really cannot recommend it high enough um, 
here again you're just anywhere you think it needs it it looks great if you hit the corners and the edges of the wall um, it really pops those out especially when it's on your table with the other pieces here are the finished pieces. The wall on the left has the four stone colors. The one on the right has the single color. And as you can see, the unbleached titanium really just blends everything together very nicely. Both styles of walls work well together. Uh, they blend. Everything has been tied in with the unbleached titanium. And it just comes down to how much or how little time you want to put in on this. As a final example, I'm gonna show you how to do this without any stonework uh, being done, uh, individual painting on it. All I've done is spray this piece with the dark gray Krylon. I've scrubbed in the Liquitex medium gray, and I'm gonna finish it off by just dry brushing with the unbleached titanium. And again, there's no individual stones being picked out here. This is a very, very fast, down and dirty way to paint your terrain, and it's gonna look great. And when I'm done here, I'm just finishing up with the unbleached titanium. And let's put them next to the other ones. That is the single color stonework. Here is the four color. And as you can see, all three styles work well together. It's the unbleached titanium that kind of pulls it all together, kind of blends it all. And uh, you, you can use all three styles on your tabletop just fine, and they will blend together. Um, it comes down to how much or how little time you want to put in. Uh, thank you very much for checking us out. If you have any further questions, feel free to come by the Fat Dragon Games forums at fatdragongames.com.